Hello and welcome! After an extensive refactoring of the Advanced Ocean Modifier and addition of many features, this video is supposed to show you what's new. The first geometry node special spray and ripples, multi-ocean support, more presets, more materials, fake waves, ocean looping and more. Let's go! You still find the add-on options in the end panel. Now new? You need to initialize the add-on before you see the rest of the options. And here already the first big change. Now you can add and control several oceans at the same time. Simply press add ocean and you get as many oceans as your computer can take. But if you have several oceans you will need to select an ocean to see and change its options like wave shape and material center. If nothing is selected, you will see the settings of the last added ocean. When you want to add features like set preset, set material or float, you need to choose a specific ocean by selecting the ocean and maybe objects that are involved in the feature. Specifically for this case, floating is unfortunately only possible for one ocean per object. Static, on the other hand, works for all oceans and no ocean needs to be specified. Ok, more features. Now there are not only 3, but 12 different presets for you as a starting point. Choose a preset from the list and press apply preset. The first 3 are the improved lovely lively stormy, followed by the 3 versions of the shallow water model and the established ocean model. Last but not least, there are 3 abstract options to give you ideas for crazy stuff. Be aware, the established ocean option doesn't give foam information, so the foam will look random. Besides several presets, you can now choose between four different materials. The 3.0 one is the newest, but you can also find variations as well as the legacy material from the earlier versions. In addition, the water material got some animated fake waves with procedural bump for low-res oceans. In this EV render, the ocean resolution is only 5. Moreover, the refraction of the water is drastically improved for cycles and EV. The settings are still at the same place and should behave similar or better. Be aware the foam coverage and the object foam fade are not in their own panel anymore, but down with the material. Next thing, I expose the time scale and speed options for the object waves. Speed will help you getting rid of this pudding like ocean feel, and the time scale could be useful for slow motion videos. Here's a bit of playing with the static marked object. Together with spring damping and smooth, you will have great control over your object generated waves. Okay, finally, let's go to the fun stuff the new specials panel. First, looping. You can loop oceans now. Choose the time range in the simulation duration settings and press loop. It also sets the time range for testing, but remember, you don't need to render the last frame. Here you see the end and the beginning are the same. That's also true for the foam on the ocean. If you want to change ocean settings, remove the loop by clicking here. Make the change and add the loop again. It's not looping ocean interactions. This boat animation needed some tweaking that the boat doesn't interfere with the loop. Next feature, geometry nodes generated ripples. Having simple ripples around objects that are not moving was difficult before. The ripples button will generate a geometry node setup which generates declining ripples in the shape of the objects. Look into the modifiers tab of the ocean to see all settings. Change amplitude, wavelength, inner and outer fallout. Don't forget to select the ocean and the object, otherwise your ocean will disappear. Go to the modifiers tab to of the ocean and set the necessary object. Disclaimer, it's not very convincing for moving objects. Last but not least, here's the first support for spray. Until we have geometry nodes particle physics, it's a bit of a hack, but for large waves it works quite well. When you select the ocean, press spray. It seems nothing happened. Go to the modifier spray 
and change one value. Ta-da! The particles appear. The options in the modifier allows you to control how many and where the particles are generated. Moreover, also the particle size distribution and the general particle scale can be controlled here. The height option lets you control how high the particles fly, but you see it falls apart for small waves. By the way, the instanced object can be found in the spray collection. That's it for now. Write me if you like it, find problems or have suggestions for new features. And look out, more is coming. Enjoy!